Okay, this lab is going to take us approximately 20 minutes, and this is exercise 1.5, updating a Windows image. <clears throat> From time to time, you'll need to patch a Windows image. In this exercise, you will add a Windows update package to the install.win file. Um, the question that's within this section, and I'm just going to go over this now instead of trying to remember to do it later, is what is the first step you have to perform before you can add a Windows package to a WM, to a WM a WIM file? And you have to mount the image. All right, so I'm going to save this because this is the last section of this lab. All right, so on server one, I'm on server one. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this, open up my folder, go into my C drive. Go into soft, uh, no. I want to create a folder for package. So new folder package. We also want to create an offline folder. So right click, new folder, offline. <clears throat> now we want to right click. We want to go into our command prompt admin. And I'm going to try and make this larger so it's easier to see. Okay. So the first thing we have to do is change to the software folder. So we're going to do cd space slash software. So now we're in the software folder. I'm going to do a DIR just because I make it a good practice just to make sure everything's there that I need to be there. And we're going to be working with that Windows 8.1 KB file. And it's right here. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to extract the CAD files from the Windows 8.1 KB file. And then we're going, to ex we're going to execute it by doing this. We're going to type in Windows 8.1-KB290152. Dash-X64.MSU space slash extract colon C colon slash package. <clears throat> and then we're going to go ahead and click on enter. Let's see if I typed it correctly. And we'll go ahead and do open. Now just to make sure that it did work, we're going to go over here and click on our package folder, and you'll see that it's there. Oh, for those of you working through the lab that are not in my class, you need to take a screenshot of this right here. Okay, so now we're going to go back into our Windows Deployment Services. I'm going to close out of this for now. Here's my Windows Deployment Services. And I want to navigate to Image Group 1, which is right here. And I want to right click the Windows Server 2012. And now I want to do a disable. And then I'm going to right click on it again. And now I'm going to do an export image. And then the export as dialog box. I'm going to put this into my software. Oh my up. Software and then my install.wim then 
Yes. Okay, now we're going to go back to our right click, command prompt admin. I'm going to move this over so I can see it. <coughs> as soon as this is done, um, we're going to mount the that install.wim file. Just have to wait for it to finish. And I don't necessarily have to change directories in order to do that. Go ahead and get this typed in this way. I just have to click on enter as soon as it's done. So we're going to type in DISM space forward slash mount dash whim space forward slash whim file colon C colon backslash software backslash install dot whim space forward slash index colon one space forward slash mount dir colon c colon slash offline. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and click on enter. Okay, I probably typed it wrong. I'm going to do my up arrow to re to basically retype, to basically re to pull that one line up and see where I typoed at. <clears throat> okay, so this should be D I S M, and then slash mount dash whim slash whim file colon c colon slash software oh I know I did this should be e x e and then you have a space and then slash index dot one space slash mount dir colon c colon slash offline okay now let's try it okay what else did i miss close out of this for a minute right click nope go back to my command prompt again Try doing this from scratch. So we're gonna do all right. So in my root directory, I have my offline file that's referring to. <coughs> And I have my C, there's my software, there's my install whim. All right, let's try this one more time. D-I-S-M space 
forward slash mount dash w i m space forward slash wim file colon c colon backslash software backslash install dot wim space okay I still did it wrong before I know what I did um, slash index colon one space slash mount dir colon c colon slash offline Okay, now I did it right. So for some reason, I don't know where I was getting this. Supposed to be an exe or dot com, but it should be a dot wim. <clears throat> we'll let this run. Minimize this for a moment. Properties. Let me see if I can make this just a little larger. Okay, that might be a little bit easier to read. <clears throat> All right, the operation was completed successfully. So now we're going to get information about the WIM file. And we're going to do that by typing in DISM space forward slash get dash WIM info space forward slash WIM file colon C colon backslash software install.wim slash index colon one <coughs> okay that operation completed successfully now we're going to add a package to the wim image and even though this shows as two lines in the tech in the manual it's actually one long line all right, DISM space forward slash image colon C colon backslash offline space forward slash add dash package space slash package path colon C colon slash package slash windows 8.1 dash kb 2901549 dash x64 dot cab and then enter Okay, that has been completed successfully.
So now we've added the image. So now we're going to commit the changes. So now we're going to type in to commit it, dism space forward slash commit dash wm wim space slash mount dir colon c colon slash offline. Enter. Oops. All right, now that we have committed the changes, now we're going to dismount the WIM file. So we're going to type in dism space forward slash unmount dash WIM space forward slash mount dir colon c colon slash offline space forward slash commit. <clears throat> okay, now at this point, if you're required to take a screenshot, you would take a screenshot of this. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close out of this and go back to my Windows deployment and right click on Windows Server and click on replace image and we're going to browse to the software.install and then open next Next, next, next. All right, now we're going to go ahead and click on finish, and that concludes lab one uh, and this section. So the next lab is number two, where we're going to do an implementing a patch management.